So once you've created your microservices, you need a way of deploying them. So in this segment, I'm going to outline some of the issues that you need to address. So you built your microservices, you need to deploy them. There are various forces that you need to, or issues that you need to think about. So services could very well be written using a variety of different languages. They can be using a diff different frameworks. And in some cases, even if they're written in, for instance, Java, they might be using different versions of Java or different versions of the Spring framework, for example. So there's lots of just variability in terms of what your services look like. Each service will at runtime consist of multiple service instances. So we've got a notion of some service like the catalog service. So that, that's a piece of code. But then at runtime, you're probably going to want to run multiple copies of that application, not only to handle the load, but also for high availability as well. If one of those instances fails, you want to you, want, you need to have enough remaining in, instances to take over and, and, handle, and handle the load. The whole process of building and deploying a service needs to be fast. Think back to the whole idea of continuous deployment. Someone makes a change, it gets automatically tested and deployed. That whole process needs to be fast. So services need to be deployed and scaled independently. That's one of the primary motivations behind microservices, independent deployment and scaling uh, of each service. Service instances need to be isolated from one another. So if one service is misbehaving, ideally we don't want it to impact any other services. That's just, um, they, they, they actually need to be firewalled off from one another. And ideally, we want to be able to cons constrain the resources that a given service uses. We want to just say, it can use this much CPU, it can use this much memory, it can use this much bandwidth. We don't want a service just kind of growing arbitrarily and eating up all of the available memory. And then also, the whole process of deploying changes into production needs to be reliable. It should be this easy, stress-free process that shouldn't ever fail, um, which is quite different than what many organizations have to go through on a regular basis. And then finally, deployment should be cost-effective. You know, at the end of the day, you're a business, it needs to be profitable, and, it, and from a deployment point of view, the resources needed to, to run your application should not be excessive. So there's a few different strategies that you can use. At a high level, there's the more traditional multiple service per host pattern, where you run multiple service instances on a given host. And then there's a more modern approach where each host, which could be a virtual machine or a physical machine, maybe, or a container, runs exactly one service instance. And as you're going to see, there are various trade-offs involved with, with each one of these patterns. And next, we're going to look, we're going to start looking at each one of these patterns.